Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's uh, discussion on the world's greatest pastry makers. Maybe foie gras. Maybe you'd like to talk something about uh, a Beaujolais. Or we could talk about a du chevaux. And right now, what we have here is probably one of the finest du chevaux in the world. Fully restored, beautifully done. It's in 83. We're doing this video in 2017. It's almost 35 years old, this car right now, right? And we have documentation to prove that it has around 30,000 original kilometers, which is only 18,750 original miles. Comes with some great certi certifications, some great documentation, and a beautiful restoration to go with it. So uh, as you think about getting these cars, or maybe, maybe you were a student and you uh, traveled Europe on uh, some, some scholarships or did some study abroad programs or you just traveled with your family there and you get to ride or use one of these cars, they see what happens, you start talking about it and you start smiling because you know what, this was a great piece of your life and that's why we brought these here so that you could do this all over again. Can you imagine going out to dinner with another couple in this car, right, or taking the kids out to dinner in this car? You pull this car up and the valet is going to push the, the Porsche around the side. This car is definitely going up front. And you know what you do? Don't go in the restaurant, just stand to the side for a second and everybody who comes out is gonna do the same thing I'm doing. They smile when they come out and they see the car. Oh, I remember those cars from this. Oh, I remember the movie that I saw this in. And it evokes such great happiness and such great fun times. That's why getting one of these is, uh, is, is really, really awesome. All right, so uh, as we walk around, uh, this mint green paint, hard to see in the light here, uh, but it really is very shiny, very nice. We have all new chrome and stainless and paint and wipers and glass and things like that. I undid the roof here because uh, I want to show you how much sunroof this car actually has, all right? The bumpers are painted like they're supposed to be, all right? And uh, the grill's restored. Uh, the wheels are painted and restored as well. And these are the period correct Michelin tires on here, all right? Look at that. So they had radials in 83. These are period correct 1983 reproductions of the original radial tires. This set of tires right here is probably, you know, just 1200 bucks just for four tires. And so uh, when you think about restoration, that's the way it is. So these cars started out really as farm cars, meaning that they had to be, uh, they had to be able to go and traverse over rough roads and things like that. This is cool here, check this out. I wanted to pull that down so you could see that. This is how you open the window, all right? And what's, what's so important about them is that the fact that they could go over virtually any terrain. The suspension is super soft. It was designed so that Eggs could be carried in the back, and you could drive on these rough roads, and it wouldn't break the eggs, all right? This top right here, okay, takes very little time to roll it on back, okay? And you can roll it back as far as you want. You can do half. It clips in right here at the halfway mark, or you can keep rolling it on back and fold it all the way down to the very end and clip it up back here. And look how much, look, take a peek inside here if you could for a second. Probably shouldn't have left all this stuff on the seats, but here, check out how nice that is. That is a really cool interior, huh? Can you imagine taking everybody out in this car? Love it. All right, we'll get in the interior in a minute, but I want to spend a little time walking around the car since we're here, all right? This is a Du Chevaux special, so it's a little bit nicer of the Du Chevaux, a little uh, more upgrades. In here is some great storage, okay? This is a very easy car to work on and, and do things with holds several pieces of luggage in here, okay? You can imagine stacking lots of luggage if you wanted to take it somewhere. Can you imagine going away on a weekend in this car versus like your minivan or your sport utility that you drive every day? Can you talk about how different the experience would be? Seriously, how different would it be you go away for a weekend with somebody and you go out in this and uh, your world changes. It's not like, you know, when you drive your SUV or minivan to a nice place, you leave it and you forget about it. This right here, you're going to jump in, you're going to go for a ride on the country roads around the place that you're at, experience the world a little bit outside there, guaranteed to up the whole trip 50 or 100% more than if you went there uh, in your regular daily driver. It's right here showing us the Du Chevaux and the specialness of it. All right. All right. So let's take a peek under the hood and I'll show you the engine detail compartment because I want you to be able to take this car to a show if you wanted to and having the trunk open, the luggage out, the top rolled back, and the hood open, uh, you're gonna see this is pretty spectacular. All right, so let's check this out here, because like I said, if you wanna go to a show or something like that, we're gonna wanna see the detail, all right? All right, so this is kinda cool. This goes in its own little holder slot right here. All right, 
All right, so we have our twin cylinder engine, all right? Look how easy everything is to get in here. Original style alternator, all right? This has an upgraded electric fan on it, all right? Would have come out in the 80s. It came out, you know, obviously from the mechanical version of that. Uh, the shifter and everything's right there. The battery's easy to get to. Here's the original build tag of the car right here, which is kind of neat to see, all right? And then it kept the feature uh, that started in these cars when they were, you know, 30 and 40 years ago, when these cars were, were you know, really farm vehicles, or 30 or 40 years before this, this, even this car, is that you can still crank the engine with the original crank here. So if it didn't have a starter back when these cars came out new, uh, the crank could go right in here, or if the battery died out in the field or something like that, you put the crank in here, and you crank it right over, and the car starts right up. Ah, how about that? All right, so come on in here. This is so, uh, I love this car. This, this car, imagine, when's, this, when's the last time you saw one running around uh, the streets of your neighborhood, huh? The streets of your city, the streets of your state, the streets of your country, huh? Here in the United States, we are not gonna see these very often. The shifter is awesome too. Patterns right here, so first, okay? First here, second, third, and then fourth, all right? Parking brake, full gauges, all those stuff you need. This is also a little temperature gauge right here. And this is the room we're talking about, but look how much open air we're talking about. You, there's, it's huge in here. You can slide the seat up a little bit, you can fit an entire world back there. Seat belts are in the car, so you know that uh, you got some safety stuff built in. And I absolutely love, love, love the color. The color of the car says to me, wow, like today's modern car could never pull this color off, never. But this, definitely nice. All right, so let's close up the video on this. The 2CV, or the 2 chevaux. For those of us that don't speak French very well, we might say uh, the 2CV. For those of you that uh, speak French very well, you might say 2 chevaux, but much better than I just said it. <laughs> anyway, bottom line is, I don't know what all of that means, uh, as far as uh, the inflection and how I'm saying it, but what it does mean is that this car here is beautifully restored. It comes with great documentation, convertible. I'm running through the list of stuff on here because it has historical relevance. Uh, it even comes with a certificate uh, for that. So if you wanted a really cool car that's just been imported into the country, comes with a nice new title and everything, so it's nice and legal. You can imagine how difficult it was to get this in here. It was a lot, a lot of work, and it took months to get it. And it's finally arrived, and you got to find a way to get it in your garage. You've got to find a way to get it in your garage. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, and don't cringe about the douche of vote. You know, part of a restoration is, uh, first off, it's a cold day here, sorry about that, but part of a restoration is how easy and how well a car is to operate. Let's go.